Happy is the man who finds a best friend, and happier is the man who finds a best friend as his wife. And that's what I found with Lisa. First of all, on behalf of my husband. You are so good. I've literally written in brackets, pause for applause. <laughs> my husband's at myself. I want to say a massive thank you to all of you for being here today. We were fully ready today to be amazing, but I don't think anything can fully prepare you for how surreal and overwhelming it is to have all your friends and family from all the different parts of your life together in one room. The sheer volume of love here today has blown us away and we are so grateful to each and every one of you. Thank you. So pause to you all. You are my other half. You're my love. You're my best friend. You're my unicorn. And today, I feel so lucky standing next to you here as your husband. I thought it might be nice to tell you about the story of how we met. So we are an online dating success story. <laughs> yes, we are living proof. It really does work. Isn't it? But there are definitely two sides to the story. But I have been on various dating sites over the years, and there have been many, many, many Mr. Moles. And it took me over seven years on and off to meet my Mr. White. Daryl, on the other hand, six a bottle of red wine on a Saturday night, completes his first ever dating profile, post it around 12.30 am in the early hours of Sunday. I'm back with him and message about seven hours later. We meet six days after that, as you know, exactly four and a half years ago today, before Head Over Girls and the rest is history. And to add insult to injury, because he's still within the 14-day cooling off period. <laughs> he cancels his membership, gets his money back, and I come for free. So obviously, I like to say that's because I'm Chris. But honestly, men have it very easy. And now his thoughts at the end of that very first date are coming true. We are getting married exactly four and a half years after we met, and in another couple of years, we're looking together over six years and married for two. Espero que esta soja o inicio de una longa y feliz jornada junta. Which I hope says, I hope this is a beginning of a lovely journey together. And here we are, 1645 days, exactly four and a half years, husband and wife. So my dream has come true. So thank you very much, Lisa. You, you, you are the love of my life. May I take this opportunity to extend the warmest of welcomes to Clevedon Hall on this very special day for Daryl and Lisa. 
We are here today to witness their joining in matrimony and on their behalf I would like to thank you all for being here today to celebrate the beginning of their new married life together. I know it means a great deal to them both that you could all be here today to share in their happiness and to witness their vows. Firstly, welcome to everybody here because without you attending and coming and being here from far and wide, Lisa and Daryl's day wouldn't have been the same. So thank you, Lisa and Daryl. All I can say is it's wonderful that they found each other because in this world, which is a very pleasant world at the moment, really, um, they found each other and uh, they seem devoted and very much in love. And it's fantastic, I think. It's wonderful. So first of all, um, just to reiterate what Brian said, thank you so much, everybody making the effort to come here today. We're blessed to have so many of you here, the people that are important in our lives are our friends and family, that we are humbled that you've all made the journey here. And as um, Brian said, Tina and Ken all the way over from NZ as well. Um, so thank you very much for coming today to this very special place, the place where it all began for us about four and a half years ago to the very day. <laughs> we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law of this country for the celebration of marriages. Lisa and Daryl did not get here all by themselves. They have been loved and supported by you, their family and friends. From this day forward, they will likely continue to need your love and support, but in different ways as they enter this new chapter in their lives. Lisa and Daryl have found in each other happiness, fulfilment and love and they now wish to affirm this re their relationship by offering to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. I'm nearly flying. Oh, <laughs> Saying a few words about Lisa uh, if a, a few words will do, <laughs> and I don't think it will about Lisa. Love it, there's four words, loving, caring, intelligent, and determined. And by God, is she determined. So Darren and Lisa, I am very delighted for you both. I'm so glad we can celebrate today with your friends and family that, that you said have come from all over the country and indeed all over the world to celebrate a special and fantastic day with you and cheer you off on the start of a wonderful life together. And we cannot wait to see what happens over the next many adventures and years. Um, and, uh, and we just wanted to come here today and, and to, to, to share this with you. You're surrounded by your loved ones and all are wishing you well as you create a brand new chapter in the story that is yours to tell. We talk about the memories you have yet to make together and the moments you've already shared to be carried with you forever. But take the time to live today as your marriage begins. Look around and soak it up the moment that we are in. For this is where the magic starts. When you both say your vows, you pledge to spend your lives as one because of the love you feel now. So yes, here's to a future that is bright and warm and clear, but more than that, here's to right now and what it means to be here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you made it up really. 
my friend show and my friend's mini me right on to my lisa where do i start so i've got so many happy memories from the last four and a half years and some of them i can actually repeat today which is good um but ultimately you brought an amazing amount of joy happiness and love into my life and i'll always be grateful for that i have many happy memories of walking hand in hand with you across swanage beach after we were engaged you know, we've created so many happy memories together and these genuinely have been the best years of my life and I was lucky that my dad was able to meet you before he passed as well, you know, on a number of occasions and seeing his happy face when he realised that I'd found in you what he'd found in my mum. So, you know, he was so happy and really grateful for that as well. Here present. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Daryl Blackwell, to witness that I, Daryl Blackwell, do take thee, Lisa Marie Campbell, do take thee, Lisa Marie Campbell, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Lisa Marie Campbell. To witness that I, Lisa Marie Campbell. Do take thee, Daryl Blackwell. Do take thee, Daryl Blackwell. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to give you. I promise to give you my love and friendship. My love and friendship to be there when you need me most. To be there when you need me most. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To cry with you. To cry with you. And to confide in you. And to confide in you. To trust you. To trust you. To comfort you. To comfort you. To support you. To support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. These promises I make. These promises I make for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. Perfect. Cinderella moment. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to give you. I promise to give you my love and friendship. My love and friendship. To be there when you need me most. To be there when you need me most. To laugh with you. To laugh with you. To cry with you. To cry with you. <laughs> <laughs> and to confide in you. And to confide in you. To trust you. To trust you. To comfort you. To comfort you. To support you. To support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And be faithful to you always. And be faithful to you always. These promises I make. These promises I make. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. And I give you this ring. And I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. Perfect. Thank you, Lisa. The story of your life together is yours to write. May you always be able to talk things over, laugh together, and enjoy life. And when the day is done, share moments of peace and calm. May your home be filled with happiness, warmth and understanding. And may you find that your love deepens and grows stronger as you journey through life together. I wish you a lot of good fortune and a lot of luck and um, I hope everything goes well for you. It's Toast, Lisa and Daryl. I'm wishing them very good health, good fortune and a lifetime of happiness. 
And I'm sure with effort and this sort of thing, which you have to give in marriage, um, and give and take. You listening, Lisa? <laughs> so this is to Lisa and Daryl. They would like to raise their glass, wishing them a lifetime of happiness, health, and good fortune. Lisa and Daryl. Okay. Now, leading up to today, I thought I'd seek the collective wisdom of the internet to see what it would recommend to make a, a long and happy uh, relationship. So the first one was to keep your relationship brimming with love. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. And whenever you're right, shut up. Is that to me? No. Well, I'm in the spare room tonight. Um, if you're at, in your car. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, do it, do it the way the wife told you. That was the next one. So, if everybody would join me with a toast to my darling wife, Lisa. Lisa. I'm so pleased that Daryl has looked the happiest I've seen him for many, many, many years. You both look perfect together. You're going to have an amazing life, and we can't wait to be part of it. I haven't got a toast, but toast to Daryl and Lisa. My love, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you. And I can't wait to keep on loving you every day for the rest of my life. Most of all, I love that even from that very first date, being with you has always felt like home. So my darling, I promise that today and always, I'll protect you from the hooded claw, keep the vampires from the dog. <laughs> when the chips are down, I'll be around with my undying death-defying love for you. But on that note, I'd like you all to raise a glass. To celebrating with all you lovely folk on a day that quite frankly is taking me somewhat longer to get to than most. To eating, drinking, and seeing all of you throwing shakes in the dance floor later. And most of all to power of love. Power of love. <laughs> made declarations required by law. You have made a solemn and binding contract of marriage with each other here before your family, witnesses and friends. And it now gives me very great pleasure to announce you are husband and wife and you may kiss your beautiful bride.